Hello guys, welcome back to HTML Camp. In this video, we'll be creating a QR code generator using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Make sure to stay till the end to find out how this was made. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on the video, I really appreciate it. With that being said, let's get started. In the body tag of your script, create a dev with the class of container. Now in the style sheet, using the universal selector, set the margin and padding on the website to zero. Set box sizing to border box and set font family to poppins. Reference the body tag and set the width to 100% and the height to 100VH. Also, set the background color to hashtag FF676D. Open the website with the VS Code Live Server extension. In the container dev, create another dev with the class of header. In it, create an H1 tag and type in the text QR code generator. Create AP tag and set the text to type a URL or text to generate QR code. Below the header dev, create a dev with the class of input form. In it, create an input tag and set the type to text. Give it a class of QR input. Also, give it a placeholder. Below it, create a button tag and give it a class of generate BTN. Set the button text to generate QR code. Now, create a dev with a class of QR code. In it, create an IMG tag and set the SRC to images slash QR code dot PNG. Also, give it a class of QR image. Preview the changes made. Now, let's center the content in the website. To do that, set the display of the body tag to flex and set align items to center. Also, set justify content to center. Preview the changes made. For the container dev, set the background color to white and set the width to 400 pixels. Set border radius to 7 pixels and set padding to 20 pixels. Reference the H1 tag in the header dev and set the font size to 32 pixels. Set the font weight to 500 and set margin bottom to 5 pixels. For the P tag in the header dev, set the font size to 16 pixels and set margin bottom to 10 pixels. Now, style the input and button tags with a width of 100% and set the height to 50 pixels. Also, set outline to none and set border radius to 5 pixels. Preview the changes made. Reference the button tag and set the border to none and set background color to hashtag 1D68D8. Set the font size to 15 pixels, the color to white and set cursor to pointer. For the input field, set the border to 1 pixels and set the color to hashtag 8B8AAA. Set margin left to 18 pixels and margin bottom to 15 pixels. Also, set the font size to 15 pixels. Write the QR code class name and give it a padding of 25 pixels to the top and bottom. Set border to 1 pixel solid and set the color to hashtag CCC. Also, set margin top to 10 pixels. Now, let's center the QR image. To do that, set the display to flex, align items to center and justify content to center. Also, set the border radius to 4 pixels. Preview the changes made. Now, set the height of the container dev to 250 pixels. 
Also, set the opacity of the QR code to zero and set pointer events to none. Now, in the HTML document, create a script tag. In it, create a variable called container and set it equal to document.querySelector and type in the container class name. Create another variable called GenerateBTN and set it equal to document.querySelector and type in GenerateBTN as the class name. Create another variable called QRInput and set it equal to document.querySelector and type in the QRInput class name. Create one last variable called QRIMG and set it equal to document.querySelector and type in the QRImage class name. Now, create an onClick function on the GenerateBTN variable. In the function, type container.classList.add and type an active as the class name. Now, whenever the Generate button is clicked, the container is given the active class name. In the stylesheet, whenever the container has the active class, set the height to 490 pixels. Below it, set the opacity of the QR code dev to 1 and set pointer events to auto. In the onClick function, create an if statement and check whether qrinput.value.length is greater than 0. Now, copy this line of code and paste it here. Now, the container will only have the active class name if there is text in the input field. In the stylesheet, set the transition of the container dev to 0.1 seconds. Also, set the transition of the QR code dev to 0.5 seconds. Preview the changes made. In your browser, search for QR code API. Now, copy this link to your clipboard. In the if statement, type qrimg.src and set it equal to the link we just copied. Remove example from the link. Also, set it to plus qrinput.value. Now, the QR code is working perfectly. Let's change the size to 170 by 170. Preview the changes made. Now, create an onload function on the QRIMG variable. Now, copy this code and paste it in the function. Set GenerateBTN.innerText to generating QR code. After the QR image has been loaded, set GenerateBTN.innerText to generate QR code. Now, preview the changes made. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on this video, I really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.